Good morning. About a week ago, I watched a YouTube video entitled Blood Sugar Test, Banana versus Candy Bar. In that video, I was shocked when his results showed that eating two bananas rose his blood sugar to 222. A horrible number as far as I'm concerned. Then he tested then the following day using uh, two candy bars and it didn't raise his blood sugar level as much. And I was shocked. And I wanted to know if that's true for everybody. Because he said something that bothered me. He said that he was insulin resistant. Should a person who's insulin resistant be doing the test? I don't believe that I'm insulin resistant. And I'll tell you why. Uh, three, four years ago, my doctor informed me that uh, I had type 2 diabetes. Uh, he's, he told me that if I allowed it to continue, I could have gangrene and I might be able to I might have uh, the need to have my arms amputated and my legs amputated and I could go blind. And he was brutal and he scared the hell out of me. Uh, then, not long after that, I started seeing light flashing. When I lie down, the lights would flash or if I bumped my head or jiggled, my, I would see flashes of lightning in my eyes. And I went to an optometrist and he told me that my retina was beginning to detach from the back of my eye. He said when it did detach, I would be going blind. So now I was really motivated to find a solution to this diabetes. When I was a child, people called it sugar diabetes. And I believed and still do believe that, that diabetes is called by overconsumption of sugar. So to correct my type 2 diabetes, I decided I would give up sugar. Now, I also knew that flour caused problems with, uh, with glucose because it turned into sugar. So I gave up white flour. Not only did I give up th these two items, but I also started reading labels. And if the label indicated that this had sugar or flour, I would stop eating it. Now, six weeks later, I no longer had type 2 diabetes. My A1C went down to 5.7. I didn't have a problem. Uh, my fasting blood sugar was 106. And uh, I was told that if your fasting blood sugar was between 70 and 110, you didn't have type 2 diabetes. And that pleased me greatly. But as time went on, I discovered that if I consumed too much carbohydrates. The following day, my fasting blood sugar would be over 120. So I believed I still had a problem. And it must be that I still had in some insulin resistance. Even at 106, I must still have some insulin resistance. So I decided I would try and correct that. So I stopped eating sugar, I stopped eating flour, I stopped eating potatoes and rice, and I gave up fruit. Huh, what do you know? A couple months later, my fasting blood sugar was below uh, 100, and it's remained below 100 now for over a year. Uh, so I don't believe I'm insulin resistant at this moment, and I want to redo his test. I'm going to eat uh, two bananas today and measure my blood sugar an hour later, and then I'm going to eat two candy bars tomorrow and do the same test, and we'll see if I get the same results that he did. Now, first thing I gotta do is I gotta find out what my blood sugar is, because I don't know. Uh, hopefully, it's below 100, and I'll rinse my fingers with alcohol, and I will put the test strip in, and we're gonna see what my blood sugar is. It's been 10 hours since I've eaten, and uh, I have a drop of blood, and I'm gonna test my, put it in the machine, and we're going to see what my blood sugar is. Uh, hopefully it's below 100. It says 93. So that's a good place to start the test. So I'm going to eat two bananas and then an hour later I'm going to test my blood sugar again. Hopefully 
it's not going to be 222 like it was with that man, uh, Dennis. Well, it has been one hour since I have eaten two bananas, and it's time for me to take my blood sugar test. And I'm hoping and praying that it's not 222 like Dennis got. Uh, that would scare me. So I'm going to test my blood sugar, and we're going to see what it is after eating two bananas, or 56 grams of carbohydrates, and see how my body reacts differently from Dennis's. All right. Now I need a test strip. And we're going to just see just what it is. It's been one hour. And two bananas. And we're going to see. Ah. Oh, I got a drop of blood. And I hope, oh, hope it's not 222. Oh, well, it's not 222. It's 129. Significantly different, but still high for me. I don't like 129. I'll write that down. And uh, one hour from now, I'll do it again and see what it is. And then we'll go from there. Thank you. It has been two hours since I've had the two bananas. And it's time to take my blood glucose level again. Just to recap, my fasting blood sugar this morning was 93. One hour after eating two bananas, it was 129. And now two hours after eating two bananas, we'll find out what it is. Uh, so, a little cotton or a little uh, alcohol. Two hours after eating two bananas, I will now retest my blood sugar. Get a drop of blood. And we'll see what it is two hours after eating two bananas. Ninety-five. Good morning. This is day two of my uh, blood sugar test bananas versus candy bars. This is a reaction to a person who did the same test a few weeks ago or a few years ago and he got results that were frightening. When he did his banana test his blood sugar spiked to 222. If everybody's blood sugar spiked to 222 that would mean that bananas were a very dangerous fruit. But then he said something that really bothered me. He said that he was insulin resistant. That means that his body is not functioning properly. What would happen if somebody whose body was functioning properly took the same test? Would they get the same results? So that's why I'm doing this uh, video. Yesterday I did my uh, test. One hour after eating two bananas, my blood sugar was 129. Not the same as his 222. 129 is perfectly acceptable. When you digest food, your blood sugar goes up. Insulin takes care of it and your blood sugar goes back down. Two hours later, my blood pressure, my blood sugar was 95. Back to normal. So bananas are something you don't need to avoid if you are not insulin resistant. If you are insulin resistant, yes, don't eat bananas. Don't eat sugar. Don't eat flour. It'll kill you. So, I'm going to test my blood sugar now, and then I'm going to eat two of these candy bars, and then an hour later I'm going to test my blood sugar again and see, see what the results are. So, let's do the blood sugar test, and uh, hopefully it's below 100, because if it's below 100, it's an indication that you're not insulin resistant. Now I'm going to swab the paper with uh, alcohol and uh, we'll see what the results are. Okie doke. All 
Alrighty, a drop of blood, and uh, we'll get the results pretty soon. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, it's 102. That's not good. But it has not been that high for many, many months. Ooh, I'm gonna have to do something. Well, we'll have to figure out what that means. Okay, uh, an hour from now, I'm going to eat two candy bars, and then an hour from now, I'm going to test my blood sugar and see if it goes up to whatever. We'll see. I'll be back in an hour. Well, it's been an hour since I had the two uh, candy bars, and now it's time to test my blood sugar. Well, one hour after eating two candy bars, my blood sugar is now 132. And I'll write that down. Uh, 132 is normal, and I shouldn't be worried about that. Just like yesterday's 129 after eating two bananas, an hour after eating two bananas, it's still normal. So, one hour. After eating two candy bars, my blood sugar is now 132. Well, it's been two hours since I ate the two candy bars, and it's time to test my blood sugar to see how high or low it is. So let's do that. Uh, yesterday, after one hour, and eating two bananas, my blood sugar was 129 which was perfectly acceptable. And today, one hour after eating two candy bars, my blood sugar is 132, which again is perfectly acceptable. You expect your blood sugar to rise after eating. It wasn't excessive. Uh, now it's been two hours since I've had the two candy bars, and I'm gonna test my blood sugar again. Ouch. And we'll see what it is. Ninety-two. Hmm. That's interesting. So my blood sugar has returned to normal, and uh, we'll have to uh, think about this for a while, and I'll get back to you. When you consume carbohydrates, it doesn't seem to matter whether you get your carbohydrates from fruit or from candy. In both cases, the candy bars and the banana rose my blood sugar by about the same amount. It increased to about 130. 130 is not a problem. 130 is normal. Now, if you are insulin resistant like Dennis is, and you have uh, 56 grams of carbohydrates, it could raise your blood sugar quite a bit. In his case, the two bananas rose it to a 222. And that's a problem, and he needs to take care of that. And if he looks at my video, uh, which I produced a couple of years ago, called the Metabolic Syndrome, the Cure, I'll tell him exactly how to do it. In fact, that video is about three minutes long. It doesn't take long. All you have to do is give up sugar and flour and simple carbohydrates like potatoes, rice, and fruit. And you need to do that until your diabetes goes away. Once your diabetes goes away, you can resume eating sweets if you want. Uh, I do. I eat whenever I go over someone else's house. I eat the sweets if they serve them. Yesterday, after I did my first banana test, uh, I went over a friend's house and they served pecan pie. And I ate pecan pie and they served it with ice cream and I ate that fine. <laughs> and then they served uh, banana pudding with whipped cream. And I also ate that. And I was really worried about what my uh, blood glucose level would be when I got home. 
So I measured it when I went to, before I went to bed and my blood glucose level was 78. Apparently my body had metabolized all that sugar. But this morning it was 102. Why would it get to be above 102? Why would it go from 78 to 102 overnight? Well, when it was 78, your body has to have sugar to have the energy to get out of bed. And I believe that my body allowed, my liver released enough sugar, in this case 102, uh, I don't know what it is, the measurement is, but it's 102 on my meter here. And that allowed me to get the energy to get up and get moving. And I believe that's where the 102 came from. Because I don't know about 78. After 78, I slept really well last night. <laughs> I didn't wake up one time. Now, uh, I think that's it. Good luck with uh, your problem if you have a problem with uh, diabetes. Thank you.